let us start uh, with the question what are enzymes enzymes are large biomolecules responsible for many chemical reactions that are necessary to sustain life enzymes are a driving force that are able to perform variety of functions in human body all living beings are controlled by chemical reactions which are involved in growth blood coagulation healing combating diseases breathing digestion reproduction and everything else which are catalyzed by enzymes enzymes are found all around us they are found in every plant and animals our body contains about 3000 enzymes that are constantly regenerating repairing and protecting us enzyme may be defined as a complex biological catalyst that is produced by a living organism in its cells to regulate the various physiological processes of the body enzymes are the protein produced by the cells of the living organism and act as a biological catalyst by controlling and accelerating the rate of biochemical reactions in the cells at a fairly low temperature and energy without enzyme biochemical reactions become too slow to maintain the life supporting processes in an organism before we start the actual structure functions and properties of the enzyme let us have a look at certain terms related to enzyme to understand biochemical nature and activities of the enzyme the first term is the active site enzymes are usually very large protein and the active site is just a small region of the enzyme molecule as you observed in this slide suppose this one is entire figure of enzyme then this region this particular region is called active site so active site is an area on the enzyme where the substrate or substrates attached to the enzyme is called active site now another term to understand is the substrate in enzymatic reaction in enzymatic reaction the substrate on which an enzyme begin its action is called a substrate in other word we may say the reactant in biochemical reaction is termed as a substrate when substrate binds to enzyme this substrate if binds to this particular enzyme it form substrate complex it form enzyme substrate complex and actually this is the beginning of enzymatic reaction now another terms which are generally used in the study of enzymes are apoenzymes holo enzymes and cofactors uh, the enzyme with its non protein moiety uh, which is a cofactor or coenzyme is termed as apoenzyme and it is inactive enzyme when this inactive enzyme which is apoenzyme binds with this cofactor the enzymes become a holo enzyme and this holo enzyme is active enzyme then what are cofactors a cofactor is a non protein chemical compound that is binds with this particular non protein material chemical if this non protein material is binds with this apo enzymes here only then this inactive apo enzymes with this cofactor it become active enzymes which is also called as a whole enzyme or 
it is also called as holo enzyme so a cofactor is a non protein chemical compound that is bound either loosely or tightly to an enzyme and is required for catalysis and to make the enzyme active so this cofactors are of two types either coenzymes or prosthetic group which we will we'll study 